como que reza e procura nas sombras da noite escura uma perdida... Se, eh, se tuviéramos que hablar em porcentajes, que porcentaje de ti como autor simpatiza con los malos en cada una de tus novelas y qué porcentaje simpatiza con los buenos? <risa> um, well, what a what a difficult question. Um, well, let me put it to you this way. Um, there are days that I feel 100% like a bad guy. <risa> And then there are days that I feel 100% like one of the good guys. Okay. But the, 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 thing, the thing about um, all of my books, um, and which makes them fun for me to write, um, is that they, you know, the good guys aren't all good, and the bad guys, well, usually they're pretty bad, but uh, <laughs> that, you know, they may have a good reason for being bad. Okay. Um, and uh, so that's what, um, That's, um, uh, you know, uh, let, you, you all need to understand one thing about thrillers. The engine that drives every thriller is the bad guy. You know, he, he's the motor that I press. But that said, it is, for me, what creates the flesh of the story um, are the responses of the good guys, the people who are put into that position, the position. Um, and that is what, what becomes, you know, I spend a great deal of time worrying about the relationship between the two. Okay, okay. Um, Alguna vez eh, dijiste que entre Caperucita Roja y el Lobo Feroz, tú te quedas sin duda con el Lobo Feroz que te parece un personaje mucho más complejo y más interesante. Eh, dijiste que, por ejemplo, que ese personaje es capaz de todo, incluso de vestirse de abuelita con tal de salirse con la suya. Mm -hmm. Quería preguntarte… Eh, yes. esa that's a simple thing. Okay. Um, many people dress up like their grandmothers. Uh, 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 <laughs> Even Aníbal Lecter. <laughs> Pardon? E incluso Aníbal Lecter. No? Um, oh. Someday I I dream of creating a character like Hannibal Lecter. Uh, he uh, he he is the standard for complicated, wonderful bad guys that it, for all of us. Uh, and and uh, I shall tell you a a small secret. Thomas Harris, who invented Hannibal Lecter, mm -hmm. is the most polite, most gentle, most friendly. Um, most uh, uh, just lovely, lovely man. Uh, and how he thinks of someone who can tear someone's face off is um, a question uh, I am incapable of answering. Um, but uh, um, you asked a question, um, and I've lost track of it already. But the the the. It seems to me that, that yes, um, the, im the importance of that, I would, yes, I love the big bad wolf. Uh, and I admire the resources that Little Red Riding Hood brings to the story. But the wolf, the wolf is the interesting one. Okay. Sí, eh, tu última novela, eh, What Come Next, me parece que toma el caso de el Lobo Feroz y las tres, eh, bueno, y una especie de caperucita roja multiplicada por tres, ¿no? De eso te parece tratar un poco la novela. Hay un malvado que persigue a tres um, pelirrojas para matar. No, no, that, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's in, un final perfecto. Ah, uh, yeah. Un final perfecto, okay. okay. That's, uh, um, yes, that's right. Um, exactly, that's what he does. Uh, what is it? Peligroso Rojo, uh, <laughs> yes. Um, uh, it, you know, this was, a, this was really an interesting challenge for me as a writer um, because what I, what I wanted to do was take three people mm -hmm. and, um, and put them in the utmost danger 
Um, and they have no way of extricating themselves from this problem unless they can find each other and then solve a, the mystery of why they're being pursued and who is pursuing them. Um, it, was, um, it was very challenging, and I have to say, I, I, um, <laughs> this is, when I write, I'm sitting in a room by myself, and it is as if the ghosts of my characters are in the room with me, um, and they will reach over and they'll say, do this. You know, do that. Um, and then one day they'll be shoved aside and one of the other characters will come forth. It's, if, you, if you cannot, as a novelist, have a, a almost physical relationship with your characters, they won't come alive on the page. Okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> Good. Oh, thank you very much. A lot yeah. of sense, yes. Um, Quería preguntarte, hay una cosa que ocurre con tus novelas, eh, a diferencia de muchas de las novelas eh, que abordan personajes criminales o hechos criminales, eh, que uno termina de leerlas y se olvida para siempre de los personajes, de la trama y solo recuerda la adrenalina y la emoción que eh, lo llevó a leer hasta las últimas páginas, tus novelas, muy lejos de ese fenómeno, eh, nos dan personajes que uno siempre va a recordar como… Hart, como Ricky Starks, como, yeah. eh, eh, perdón, como Rompel Stilskin, que es uno de mis Thank personajes you. favoritos. Eh, yeah. ¿Cómo se consigue que un personaje llegue a ser inolvidable? It's luck. Ok. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sí. um, uh, if, if I knew how. Um, it, see, I, it always, <laughs> if I knew how, I would write a book about, called How to Make a Character <laughs> Unforgettable. And I would sell many, many copies to, at every college in America, I know, where everybody wants to be a writer. Okay. Um, you know, I think that, I think in, in truth, it is, not, it is not about me creating um, a character um, in such a way that you will remember him or her. It is what you bring as readers to the story. And that the, the chords, the emotional chords that I play are things that you can feel. And that's what makes a character um, uh, memorable, I hope. At least that's what I've been trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectísimo. Um, muchas personas dicen que, la, eh, algunos críticos y escritores dicen que las novelas son el laboratorio eh, de la vida, que los personajes son como conejillos de indias eh, que viven las vidas que, y los peligros que nosotros, por fortuna, no siempre tenemos que enfrentar. Creo que tú trabajas de esa manera con tus personajes. Eh, mm -hmm. Alguna vez dijiste que te fascina escribir sobre los miedos humanos porque nadie reacciona de la misma manera. Todos tenemos distintas maneras de reaccionar ante el peligro. Y lo que tú tratas de hacer es averiguar cómo van a reaccionar esos personajes que acabas de descubrir. ¿Sería un poco este el método de trabajo mm -hmm. más fiel eh, eh, que has observado durante los yeah. últimos años? Um, yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, um, I, I, fear and how we all respond to it is, um, is pretty fascinating. Um, I, look at what just happened up in Boston. Um, up, up in Boston. Uh, uh, and, you know, you have an explosion and some people run this way and some people run towards the sound. And I, I think that this, this circumscribes, this, this is um, as clear a sign of how different people respond to these things. In, in my books, um, the, the different fashion 
that people have um, when confronted with the challenges um, that are presented by Rumpelstiltskin or the Big Bad Wolf or um, you know a, a, a pair of um, psychopathic um, video artists as in you know what comes next uh, El Profesor uh, that the different way that people react that's the territory the and it's it's a that I like to explore because that's where you create tension um, because people like you will say aha I would feel that um, and I would react that way um, that's the most important thing is is in that how best to put this it is equally important when you are reading a book um, any of my books um, that you would think yes that's how I would act if I you know if I was that person that's been kidnapped mm -hmm. or that's how I would act if I was the psychopath who kidnapped her yeah.